Now let's look at how to uh, access an array using pointers. So, so far we looked at how to access the memory address of a single variable using pointers. Now let's switch to fixed sized arrays. Now line 125 shows you an example of declaring a fixed sized array. Notice here I don't mention what is the size of the array. The reason why this is, is because we are providing a specific initialization list with all the values that we want to store in this array. So since the compiler knows that at compile time there are five values that we want to store in this array, the size of the array will be equal to five. Now the question is how do I uh, create a pointer that points to the first element of this array. So the, there are two ways of doing this. First in line 127 I'm creating a pointer called ptr underscore int its type is int star so it's pointing to an integer and it's initialized to a value equal to ampersand array name followed by bracket zero. So here this here is the zeroth element of the array and we take the ampersand on it we get the memory address pointing to the zeroth element of the ar array. Now similarly we can also do this with the statement in 128 wherein I'm declaring a variable called ptr underscore int underscore and initialized it with value equal to array underscore of underscore ints. So when we don't when we want to point when we want to point it to the first element of the array we can skip this ampersand and bracket zero and just provide the name of the array. And C++ will give us a pointer pointing to the first element of the array. Now to check whether these two pointers are the same, we can again use the equal to equal to operator. So here I'm comparing whether these two memory addresses are the same. If they are same, we should see a true on the console. So let's go back and check the print and notice it's equal to true. So which means there are two ways of accessing the pointer pointing to an array element. Now suppose we want to point to a different element of the array. Here I want to point pointer to point to the fourth element of the array. We can use pointer arithmetic. So the way this works is currently ptr underscore int is pointing to the first element of the array. Now to access the fourth element I can add 3 to it and the result is uh, in brackets we write we write first in brackets we do ptr underscore int plus 3 so whatever is in the bracket is first computed so p 3 is added to ptr underscore int and then the result is t referenced so when we do this we should see the value that should be printed on the console should be equal to 3 which is the fourth element in the array now what's interesting is if we want to access this using uh, the square brackets operator that we saw last time we will again provide it with we will do something like this right so we will write array name followed by in square brackets the index view of the element that we want to access so since 3 is the index that is holding the fourth element of the array we write array name followed by in square brackets 3 so similarly we are adding 3 to the base address. The base memory address is the uh, the memory at which the first element of the array is stored. And the arithmetic here is done in bytes. So first we multiply 3 with size of the data type that the pointer is pointing to. Here the size of the data type is size of integer which is equal to 4 bytes. So the memory address when we add 3 will go 12 units in uh, bytes. Uh, where 12 bytes will be added to this memory address and then we dereference that memory location. So it's important to know that we are not adding 3 to the current value of this pointer where uh, when we write this pointer plus 3 implicitly 3 is converted to bytes and size of operator is used to find what is the, the size of the data type that the pointer is pointing to the multiplication happens implicitly and then that value is added to the, the base pointer. Now let's look at an example where how to um, uh, declare a pointer and make it to point to some other element other than the first element of an array. 
So here I'm declaring an array of strings, a fixed size array of strings. So the data type is S3D string. And again, I have a variable name for the array. I'm not specifying the size because I'm providing an initialization list. And I have five strings initialized here in the initialization list. Now, when I want to create a pointer that points to the fourth element, I can write str underscore ptr, which is the name of the variable. Type is std string star. So it's a pointer pointing to std string. And it's initialized with value which is equal to ampersand, the name of the array, and square brackets three. So this here again is the third, fourth element of the array. And ampersand of that just gives us the memory address that holds this fourth element. Now again, we can use a, array, a pointer arithmetic to uh, check what will be the value when we do string pointer str underscore ptr minus two, and then dereference the result. So notice again, we have a brackets here, which says that first we do the subtraction and then dereference the result. So str underscore ptr and str underscore ptr is for currently pointing to the fourth index, which is no. And when we subtract two, it should go to go and point to the second index in the array, which is weights. So when we dereference this result, we should see weights printed on screen. So let's continue the program and let's look at the print. Notice the print is weights. So this again shows that the, the conversion happens implicitly. So now the type is std string so size of std string is multiplied with 2 and the result is subtracted from this str underscore ptr and the result of the subtraction is dereferenced and whatever the value at that memory address is the value that gets printed so to recap we looked at how to uh, access the memory address of a, a, val a variable that holds a single value we also looked at how to access the memory address of a variable that has multiple values. So for example, a fixed size array. And we looked at the difference between a pointer and a reference. A reference ref point points to the same variable always. That is once it's initialized, it cannot refer to a new variable. However, we can make the pointer point to a different variable. So in the next class, we will see how to use pointers and references to call functions. So specifically, we will see how to call functions by passing value versus calling functions by passing references or pointers and what will be the difference and why we would we need to use references and pointers and functions thank you so much